Hey there, Pagan Perspective. My name is Danny, and welcome to Monday on Subs Week. This week, our question comes from Freedom Fighter, and it is, what is great about being a pagan? What motivates us? What does the world need from our path? What does it like bring to the world? You can find the whole question in the description. So this is a fun question, and obviously not something that we focus very intently on on this channel. You know, we're not just kind of rallying the cry about why pagans are so awesome directly every time. You know, it's kind of feeds into every question, I think, but it's really nice to address it head on. So for me, what's great about being pagan and a druid and my path, what's great about it for me is that it brings me connection, it brings me peace, and it gives me a sense of direction for the purpose in my life. Druidry is focused on the self and how we can be of service in a way, or at least a part of our community. You know, there is a focus on justice and, and using our gifts and communicating our stories with others. While you can practice as a solitary druid, you are still encouraged to belong to a community, and I really value that. I think paganism in general has a lot to offer the world right now. Clearly, we are suffering from extreme climate change, and we're at a point in our culture where we've messed up, frankly. We've seen the signs that climate change is a problem caused by humans, and we need to do something to fix that. If you haven't read The Limits to Growth, a 30-year update, I strongly recommend that book, particularly if you are interested in climate change, which I think many of you, maybe not all of you, but many of you are, really draws out the math and reasons for why we're in the position we're in. And while it angered me the first time I read it, it also motivates me, like my practice, to be someone who is fighting for change. I make personal choices that help the environment in my daily life, inspired by my practice, inspired by my political beliefs. I also work to help my community make those same choices. So I'm involved in a community garden because that helps bring food closer, it brings connection to the earth, it also helps just inspire more awareness of the earth and the gifts that it has to offer us and our inherent like connection and being of one with the earth. That would be the next thing I think paganism really offers to the world is a reconnection and understanding that we are a part of nature. We are not set apart from nature. It's so easy to get wrapped up in our daily lives and to forget that all of those little things we do and all those things that make up ourselves and our families and our friends are still connected to the earth in a very deep way, whether we acknowledge it or not. And paganism is a great way of tuning back into that connection, finding a way to root down and find peace within that connection. To not be overwhelmed or fearful, but, you know, inspired and motivated to be a part of that connection in the best way possible. I also think paganism can bring the idea of exploration a little bit more to the, hmm, how do I want to say this? I think pagans are really great at exploring the limits of their spirituality and seeking more knowledge and wisdom. Druids in particular are really kind of like knowledge wisdom junkies in a way. Like Druids love to find new stories, new information, to integrate things in a new way, to share those things with other people and like build knowledge up. And I think Pagans of all sorts really can appreciate exploration and the fruits of that exploration. I hope that paganism can bring that to other spiritual paths as well, that spirituality can adapt, that new information and new knowledge is a good thing, not something to be feared, 
and that we can show how even when historic information comes out that says we misinterpreted something, we can still move forward and find inspiration maybe in our past, but find a better footing going forward. I think of, um, you know, Druids have a few historical characters who were really into kind of like archaeology and trying to find out what the Celts were really like. And some of these amateur archaeologists weren't very academically rigorous. And it has left these kind of wounds of misinformation in our practices and in our life. What we can do as modern druids is really look at those things and say, hmm, that could be some interesting inspiration. It could be a part of our path, but we also recognize not a reconstructed part of Celtic paths or Celtic druidry. It was, you know, not, not historically accurate. And I hope that we can, as pagans, can bring that to other faiths so that, you know, we can keep moving forward in our understanding of the universe and each other. And that's a good thing. Thanks so much for this question. I would love to hear in the comments below what your top best part of being a pagan is for you. That sentence got away from me, but <laughs> let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about it. And as always, thanks for watching and may you find peace in the sacred grove.